I'm Catherine Bruins. I produce the Issue Room Presents team. At this point, I'm going to call one representative, please, from each team to the stage. We're doing it. We're doing it right now. Fantasy, spy film, drama for Pandora, sci-fi. We got science fiction, and that's okay, because I love Back to the Future. The moment you've all been waiting for, once again, these must all appear in your films. The character, first name, Mayo, last name, Logan. Occupation, chef. The required prop, a jar of coins. In a line of dialogue, call me as soon as you hear anything. M-A-Y-O, Logan. Their occupation is chef. The 48-hour film project was originally conceived in Washington, D.C. about eight years ago. And now we've got the 48-hour film project operating in over 60 cities. We should be done shooting Saturday. And when I say Saturday, that means Saturday. Saturday. I am Marlon, and my role is the director of the film. We need a formatted script so that he has something yes. physical to look at. Once we got the genre, we took about an hour and a half and just wrote it, Alex and myself. Interior by night, tomorrow as a man rests in a heap. Ed Sloan and I have been tapped to uh, be the writer. And trying to keep everything tied to one location really helps set our limitations. Yeah, they're going to come in and tell cast and crew the basic plot. We have a bartender in there who is very annoyed at this guy. And the key line at the end there is go find a new bar. He goes to the new future bar. By the way, I should say, all the rest of the actors are androids. The types of films that I make normally, I spend a lot of time on them, and I don't like rules, you know, you have to do it this way, or this many minutes. We have our jobs that we do, but everybody's going to be bouncing around the whole time, because so. things are going to get crazy. Two hours for the dance scene. It's now two o'clock, and you haven't shot your plot yet. And the whole lighting scheme is set up beforehand. We have the kitchen right here, we put a light right there, and we shoot the cook. Boom, he's done. I decided to work under stressful conditions. You know, the whole point of this type of thing is being minimal, working real fast. Catherine is doing just an amazing job. She's running around like a chicken with her head cut off. You gotta talk to Heath about the schedule. Katie's gotta, talking to me about the timing. Shoot, two shots. One shot of the band, one shot of the dancers. And that doesn't take two long. hours I can tell you. for setup and shooting the whole movie besides the dance scene. This is the scenario I'm imagining. Some of us here only slept a couple hours. So I'm gonna send the rest of the crew straight down. You guys got all the equipment? Eight o'clock in the morning. When you have people volunteering their time and it's hours and hours, it's really important to have <laughs> sustenance. What do we need? Bodies, costumed bodies. What time? Ten. Eleven? Noon? Ten. No, Frank, stay right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right on set. Roll camera. Rolling. Ich heiße Logan. Mario Logan. Alles muss gezählt und gehandelt, gepackt und macht ihn. Cut. And now we make sure it works. We're shooting to the P2 cards and they don't hold a lot. I'll import it into Final Cut here so that they get there. They're all ready to start editing. We're only at this location until 4 o'clock. We have a lot of shots to do. Another day, man. Walking up Folsom, and I was approached to be an extra. Uh, to shoot with the script, just be like, when you only have two days to do it, there's no room for these kind of long, extended flourishes. Just thinking about it, I wouldn't want to do it because of those restrictions, but it turned out to be okay. So we got sound ready. This is for real action. Perhaps you'd enjoy some music from our digital music group. Stop. Let me introduce you to some of our patrons. Pull back all the way. Yeah. Action. The first 
rule is definitely as a team leader to make sure all your bases are covered and still have extra staff to handle those unexpected situations. Yeah. But I can't do important. There's a chance we lost what you shot over there. We've got the data on the computer, so those should be fine. The worst case scenario is the files are not fine. That was a fucking genius take. This is the fun stuff that happens at 3 in the morning. <laughs> okay, everybody ready? Quiet and roll camera. Action. You're always here. You never tip. Get the f out. Cut. How's it? Seventeen hours left. If everything runs smoothly with post tomorrow, we're turning in a film on time. Gotta hand this thing in. And see, we're trying to finish it all up by five. We were shooting Saturday morning, and then uh, just all weekend. It's right on a nice pace. Right. Like, I wonder if we could start it here, you know? I think I had a dream I was sleeping on, like, a really uncomfortable couch, and I woke up and it was true. <laughs> okay, that's a regular one. I basically drank an entire jar of loose change. Shaved like a reverse mohawk down my head. We were all getting a little bit cocky on Sunday, and thought we would be done hours ahead of time. We should have done that before. Well, I did think of it before. Maybe we were just being dramatic. Okay, this is like asking me to light on the scene. You know what I mean? Like, no, it'll we take did light on the scene and we did stay till 6 o'clock. We ended up picking up about 6.30, 7 o'clock. Oh, we don't have an opening title. I have a stretch version going over. Get someone who's like willing to go and knows a route and send them with a letterbox one as soon as it's done. Do you know a really good route down there? Peter drives well, Peter drives fast. <laughs> The rule is, if you're in the building at 7.30, then you qualify. We have a film in the festival. No matter what, we still made a movie in 48 hours. The interest in the event has been phenomenal. Of the 62 teams who were there at the drop-off, 50 were delivered within the 48-hour window and are therefore official films. So, without further ado... Filmmakers from across the United States and around the world compete to make a short film in just 48 hours. Time's to Logan. Mario Logan. Come out. Well, <laughs> Our producer, Miss Catherine Bruins, who just stepped up. I don't even know where she got the idea to be able to do this. I'm uh, Catherine Bruins, and my team was the Issue Room Presents, and we did Future Bar of the Future. Even when it was like, oh, this isn't gonna work, we have people who know that they're talented and know that they, you know, what they want and know the, how they want to do it. 